Hello and welcome to Shredder Zoo. Today we are taking a look at one of the largest carnivorous mammals to have ever lived, known here in Ark as the Dire Bear. The Dire Bear appears in many fantasy settings, such as computer games, role playing games, and books, but as far as I can tell, there has never been a real animal called a Dire Bear, unlike the Dire Wolf, which was very real. The Dire Bears here in Ark are actually based on a genus of extinct prehistoric bears called giant short-faced bears, specifically Arctodus. Arctodus lived in North America during the Pleistocene Epoch from about 1.8 million years ago until about 11,000 years ago. There are wide variations in weight and size estimates, as many studies have been done on small sample sizes, and Arctodus was a highly dimorphic species, with males being much larger than females. But the average size estimate for these animals is around 5 to 6 foot tall at the shoulder while on all fours, but with a height of about 10 to 12 foot while standing on its hind legs, and a reach much further than that. It has an estimated body weight of around 1,019 kilograms, that's 2,246 pounds. For comparison, an average male polar bear's weight is about 600 kilograms, that's 1,323 pounds. Its common name of short-faced bear is a bit misleading, as its face isn't particularly short. Modern spectacled bears are the only living short-faced bears, and they do indeed have a short face. By the way, Paddington Bear was based on a spectacled bear. It's thought that the short snout was an evolutionary adaption to eating meat. With shorter jaws, more bite force was able to be used for crushing bones. But the diet of Arctodus is another area of debate. A process called oxygen isotope analysis has been done to many fossils from the Pleistocene Epoch. This process measures the relative level of isotopes stored in the remains. Different environments will have different isotope levels, which are absorbed into the plants growing there. These plants are eaten by the local herbivores, whose tissues absorb and store these isotopes. In the same way, the carnivores that prey on these animals also absorb the isotopes. So by analysing the levels, it is possible to identify which animals the carnivores were eating. Using this process, it has been identified that Smilodon, for instance, favoured bison. The analysis of Arctodus revealed that it ate many different animals and did not specialise in one or two prey species like most predators. This is good evidence that Arctodus was a scavenger. It seems that it mostly ate meat, but it may have supplemented its diet with plant matter, much like modern omnivorous brown bears, as the study of micro wear patterns on the teeth show evidence of eating plant matter. In much literature, Arctodus is referred to as being a fast runner, and indeed it is sometimes called the running bear. It had long slender legs, and has been estimated as being able to run as fast as 40 miles per hour. This has led some to picture the bear as an active predator, chasing down prehistoric horses and camels. But there is a problem with this theory. The same long slender legs that give it its speed would also be liable to break or dislocate if the bear tried to make sharp turn, due to the animal's huge bulk. It is now believed that the Arctodus was more suited to endurance, prowling huge territories, with their lightweight limbs requiring little energy to move. This further supports the scavenger theory. And with its huge size and strength, the great bear would have easily chased off other predators to steal their kill. This can be seen in the behaviour of modern grizzly bears that will walk up to the kills of wolves who will run away rather than face the bigger animal. If the giant short-faced bear was indeed mostly a scavenger, this lifestyle would require two things. One is that there would be a large enough prey species to sustain it, and two, that there were predators to kill them. The Arctodus became extinct around the same time as the other megafauna and large predators like Smilodon and direwolves died out. With no large prey to feed on and no other predator to steal kills from, the bear went into decline and became extinct. The reasons for the megafauna and other predator extinctions are mentioned in previous talks. It's been linked to climate change and to the appearance of early humans, who would have competed with these giant carnivores for food. Humans, being more adaptable and able to hunt smaller, faster prey with their weapons and intelligence, were able to survive, whereas Arctodus, Smilodons, direwolves, and American lions were not. Well, that is all for today's talk, and as always, I hope you've enjoyed it and you've learned something new. 
If you did enjoy this talk, please consider letting me know by liking the video, leaving me a comment, or perhaps sharing it with someone else who might enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time here at Shredder Zoo. Goodbye.